And we are back, and I am still just so absolutely depressed at what happened when I was fishing. But we uh, we do have a magic arp, so that's something. And yeah, what's up, YouTube? I am the Tom the Bomb, and I'm back for episode two of our Storm Silver Nuzlocke. So we are at an exciting, probably the best episode, because I'm about to get like six encounters. Uh, I don't really need to do a team recap or anything like that, because the team hasn't changed. I haven't grinded or anything. It's exactly as I left it. I have 12 Pokeballs. We are good to go with Pokeballs. No one in this town gives us anything, so fuck all of you. Route 29 encounter. It's not... It, if I get six encounters, I just want half of them to be cool. So if I get a Rattata, I'm not going to freak out. It's fine. That's just dupes later. And it's a fucking centred. Alright, that's even worse than a round of that. That thing has business on. I'm at 10 health. Uh, we're gonna go into Ubi. Just, just to be sure. It could crit me. And, you know, that, that would just be a fucking tragedy at this point. I can't lose my starter. Uh, but, you know, it's not a total loss. Because one thing about this game is Dreano makes the Gen 1, 3, and 4 starters regularly available. Yeah, he makes them regularly available to you, so I'll, I will get a Gen 1 starter in Violet City, and then I'll get a Gen 3 starter in Azalea Town, and I'll get a Gen 4 starter in Goldenrod, I think. So, uh, we, we have plenty of options, I guess. And I caught the Centred, and it's a male, so I have a, I have a name for this thing. I'm not going to use it, so I, I'm not even going to bother adding this thing to the layout, if I'm just being honest. I don't even know when it evolves. You know what? I'll add it to the layout. It's it's in the party. It's in the party. Just for fun, I'll add it to the layout. So we've got a naughty nature, Ned, which is which is apt because it's named after a ferret I used to have and he was a fucking shithead. He has an attack nature. You know what? I might be on Team Centret. I might be on Team Centret. For a while. We'll see. We'll see how my other encounters shake up. Okay, this route back here, I am pretty sure you can get Larvitars, Heady Ursas, Fan Peas, but I also know you can get Geodude and Spearow, and I really don't want either of those, so give me something cool, for the love of God. I don't want to lose another Nuzlocke, because it's shit encounter. Okay, Swablu. You know what? That's, that's fine, I guess. Uh, it's a flying type. I guess I can throw Ugi out on this one. Uh, I know that Altaria is a Pokemon that Dreano has altered the stats for, so that's something. I think Altaria is a beast, because uh, I caught a, up a... I caught a Trap Edge, which I named Petunia. And uh, it carried me pretty far in this game. I've also lost, like, three Pokemon... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Every fucking time. Every fucking time. I'm actually terrified right now. I guess I gotta heal. I don't want to switch into a crit. It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> it, we're already getting started, and it's two minutes into the episode. <sighs> yeah. Go fuck yourself. <sighs> oh my god. You know what? I'm just gonna attack it. I'm just gonna attack it. And now I have to heal because it can crit me again. I have to heal. Alright. Let's just, uh, don't crit. Okay. I guess I can name this thing Cotton Ball. Okay. Cotton Swab. Swab. Cotton Swab. Okay, Swab. You know, I never noticed that. <laughs> wow. My name is Swab. You'd be swabbing. Its wings bring cottony clouds to mind. It grooms with spring water and loves to sit on heads. Yes, she does. Swabbing. There you are. My encounters are not great. 
Not great at all. I really need to get to a Pokemon Center. My team is fucking destroyed. Careful. Uh, the minus special attack nature. I don't know if Altaria is a physical or special attacker. I really hope it's a physical attacker. I mean, Pluck is a physical move, so... 70? You know what? I'm on Team Centric. I'm on Team Centric. 70 power, huh? Stab. So, 105 power at level 3. Seems fair. It's good. Good one, Dreano. Good work. Okay, my Eevee has an ability, I think, where I can, like, always get away. Yeah, I can just I can just run from every battle, so let's let's go ahead and get the cherry grove. I'm actually somewhat terrified of uh of everything right now. Part of me wants to grind before I even continue, but we're we're not gonna be uh, playing that game. I'm gonna grind off screen. I might even clear off some trainers off screen. I'm I'm not sure. I think I should include the trainer battles, but grinding is just unnecessary bullshit that I'm not gonna include in my LPs. So, don't worry about that. Fuck. Every time. I just I just hit the opposite button now. Let's see what we can get in Terry Grove City. What are you gonna be? Rabbi. Level 9? Oh my god. I actually... Uh... I guess I'll go into... I'm actually scared of this thing. I wonder if it could live a rape. I think so. Okay, it's, it's doing super good. I think, I'm pretty sure it has Vice Grip and Bubble. Because it's third and fourth move. So, Vice Grip is, is the only move that's even somewhat a problem. But, uh, I mean, I, Bubble Beam? Man, this game is fucking crazy. I don't have a problem adding crappy to my team. I've never used a crab before, so uh, might as well. Oh, there it is. See how much that does. That's gonna do a shit ton. Ooh! Okay. Okay. Potion. And that's another defense drop. You need to get in this fucking ball. Right now. That fucking thought. And I already know what I'm gonna name it. I'm gonna name it Joe. Pincers break off easily. If it loses a pincer, it somehow becomes incapable of walking sideways. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna name you Joe. For all intents and purposes, we're just gonna have Joe on the squad. I'm gonna put Riptide up. Have a good one, Riptide. In the fucking thing. Someone's PC. I guess I need to go ahead and make a death box. That's where I'll put all the Pokemon that faint in battle, so that we can have somewhat of a, a chronicle of the timeline here. I can go in there and remind myself of <laughs> what could have been. I'm gonna put Riptide up. Because I don't need a magic card for my team, but uh, as far as the rest of them are concerned, I'm, I'm good with this right now. If I'm being honest, I'm good. I'm about to get another encounter. We have we have two more routes, and then we have Dark Cave. So hopefully, uh, we can get to Violet City with no problems. That's what I want to do on this episode: is get to Violet City with no problems. We're gonna go ahead and buy ten more of these for sure. And we'll buy a couple more. Wait, hold up. How's my other medication looking? Okay, I have one antidote. I should probably get another antidote. Or two. You know what? I'm gonna get two antidotes. And a paralyzed healer. And I think we're good on medication. Let's go ahead and go into the next route for the love of God. 
we're gonna put Caesar in front so I can actually fight things. Oh, 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 I forgot to check it out. Sassy nature, so that's plus special defense, minus speed. Yeah. Uh, Bubble Beam goes here, Vice Grip goes there, and Leer goes there. As you can see, this thing is heavily offensive physically. I mean, it has 25 attack to 10 special attack, so this Bubble Beam is kind of worthless. Unless I just so happen upon a Geodude or something. Alright, this is this is the route where there was Ralts. I really, really want a fucking Ralts. Hear my prayers, Dreano. Hear them. <laughs> Fuck, man. Uh... That was, uh, that was four hits, by the way. Every time I use a move... Every time I use a move like that, I only hit twice. Every single time. Every time they use a move like that, it hits a thousand times. I don't even know... I, I've never had a desire to use a shift tree. I don't know what to do in this fucking thing. No, that was a low tad. It attaches itself to a tree branch using the top of its head. Strong winds can sometimes make it fall. Right into the unfortunate hands of myself. I will name you... Uh... I'm just gonna name it Oak. I guess. This thing is absolutely not being added, and I'm not gonna add it to the layout. The rash nature... I'm pretty sure Shiftry's a physical attacker, so that's kind of garbage. Kind of garbage. I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing back in the box and heal up. So that we can keep it on moving, keep it on moving. Whoops. There we go. Every time that happens, my sphincter puckers like a motherfucker. Bye-bye, C-Dot. You will be in here forever. Or... ever. I'm gonna be- I'm, I'm gonna be relying on Caesar a lot until I can train up the rest of my team. I need to figure out what level the first trainer battle is gonna be at before I want to use Ugi, because it would be a damn shame if that- if, if it died right on the second episode, and I'd be so fucking pissed. <laughs> Well, at least I didn't get that. Of course. Same thing, I, I wouldn't be using it. I just lost, so I'm trying to find more Pokemon. I look weak. I look weak. Okay. Sure thing, bro. Start your stupid fucking rabbit ass. Level 7, I'm about to destroy this thing. Alright, I'm dead. I just kinda... No point in even worrying about that one. And we got Poison Powder, which is pretty okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just, uh, real quick, it's Joey, I'll accept his number for the memes. I'll, I mean, he's going to call me and just talk about his fucking Rattata, that's fine. Just for the memes. Just for the memes. I'm going to level up Oogie, like, twice. Wait, I keep forgetting I have this fucking Krabby. I don't need to level up Oogie. Why didn't I heal? Man, your, your boy has been so excited to play this game all day. All I've been talking about is playing, getting home and playing Storm Silver, playing Storm Silver, recording more episodes, and I am out of it. Like, we, we were sitting there at work, and we're trying to hire uh, interns for the summer, and I couldn't have given a fuck less about those intern applicants today. All I was thinking about was just coming home and playing this game. Uh, they have to be in level order. Okay, great. Man, it's like scary almost. Oh, it's happy. Looks very happy. Oh shit. Get out. I just 
need to I just need to make it to the next route. Stop! Thank you. <laughs> so she's not a trainer in the original game. She's a trainer in this game. I think she said something about uh when you lock eyes with a trainer, you have to fight. That's what she says in the original. The dude. Alright, I'm gonna I'm already level 10 on Chikorita. Centred. Uh, okay. Let's give... Let's give Joe some action. I'm gonna Vice Grip this thing. Okay. Joe is fucking strong! He dies. Uh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, no, 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 that's a grass type. It has a grass type. And it has bullets. Oh, there it is. That would've killed the shit out of me. We're just gonna speed up past the battle. Ooh, he used by it. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> That's why you don't spam the speed up button, kids, because uh, you will get fucked. You will get fucked. Just like I almost did. Man. It's, 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 it's triggering me. Whoa, it walks sideways. Wow. Triggering me that my team isn't. I, I like having every single member of my party be the same level, and it drives me insane when they're not. I, I like to use all my Pokemon evenly. Like, some LPs will use like one Pokemon for like five levels and then switch to a different one, but I, I just switch like every time someone gains a level. Unless, you know, you, you can look at the character sprite and tell that it's like a hiker or something, so I would put Joe in front. And I didn't see that. Now, I think I can just slide on into Dark Cave. Oh my god, fuck off, Weedle. Weedle, fuck off! And we're back. Uh, I don't think this person's a trainer. Yeah, I am not a trainer. He's the one that talks about the eyes. Caleb, that would have been sick. I would have loved that. I love Slowa. Pokemon do you think she has? She looks like she has grass types, don't she? Or a flying type. It could be a flying type. It could be a flying type. Hey, I just met you and this is crazy. So let's have a battle. I'll win maybe. Wait. Is that that one thing? Idle Carly? Wow. That was... I just got absolutely mean. Carly, uh, Carly Ray Jep Jepson? Jepson? Something like that? Skitty. I'm about to fucking destroy this thing. Joe's about to fucking crush this thing in his big ass meaty claws. Look at him. Look at Joe. Look at fucking Joe versus this thing. Get out of here. Barry? Oh, uh, yeah, Joe can take that, too. Oh, wait, what happened? What happened? Of course you use a track. Of course you use ground. Um, growl. Plus three attack from him? What the fuck? What the fuck? It's Cutbush. Oh, it's Mr. Pokemon's house. That's kind of unnecessary. But they got rid of this one, so I don't have to walk through all that shit. You're not a trainer. Dark cave, if Pokemon could light it up, I'd explore it. Me too. Me too. Who do I want to lead? Probably Caesar. Just because he's the highest level and has the best defense. I don't know what I'm going to run into in here. I know you can find Larvitars. I know you can find Teddy Ursas. I know you can find Geodude and Zubat. And... I don't know what... Fampy, maybe? Give me a Fampy. I want a motherfucking Fampy. Please. Oh shit, I'll take that too. That's hype. I've never... I think I've used a Mokuhito like once. I'm gonna go ahead and tackle this thing. Not a fake out yet. I'm not risking a crit, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the ball. Hmm. Should I name one of these things? Okay, that didn't even jiggle. 
did not even jiggle. And another one for us. Of course you get a fucking crit. Stop! That right there is a perfect example of why I can't have nice things. A perfect example of why I can't have nice things. Can you just lower my accuracy? Crit. I swear to fucking Christ. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, we're not. He hit me five times again? Fucking chill. I'm not healing until you stop. Or I'm not throwing a ball until you stop. You can't risk that shit. You can't risk that shit. Like, I realize, like, I'm kind of heal spamming, but, like, what else am I supposed to do? I just said got the stupid thing. It's not gonna help me in this gym, but it's a good Pokemon, for sure. Fake out Belly Drum. It's got good stuff. It toughens up by slamming into thick trees over and over. It gains a sturdy body and dauntless spirit. Yes, I will name you... Sumo. You are definitely going on the team, bud. Now I just need you to have an adamant nature. Okay. It's a docile nature, which is neutral. He has stick fat. That's good. Rocking tattle, tackle, focus energy, sand attack, and arm thrust, huh? Maybe it focus. Did it focus energy me on turn one? Is that why it was critting me? It did. It did focus energy. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I, I overreacted. A little bit. Okay. Now we go to the next route, which is Route 31, right? My full shit. We went 29, 30. 31. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 30. Okay. 31. Wow. We're almost there. I have no idea how long I've been recording. Bug catcher. You know, I'm going to save him for when I'm grinding. I'm going I'm to save him. Let's get our encounter. I know there's Natus here. I, I wouldn't mind a Natu. It's a bell sprout. I don't want this thing whatsoever. Not not even a little bit. In no situation in this Nuzlocke am I going to be using bell sprout on my team. But I will catch it. I will catch it. I think grass poison, right? I should be able to survive this unless I crit. Yeah, that did nothing. Probably good enough. You know what, the first hit was probably good enough. <sighs> Luckily, I have a name for these things that is not going to fit on here because the name came about when my girlfriend and I were playing Pokemon Let's Go where it has a bigger name box. But I will just cut it off after it cuts off. And we got Bellsprout. It plants its feet deep underground to replenish water. It can't escape its enemy while it's rooted. That thing sucks. Alright, so the name that we give Bellsprout is Danger Noodle. That doesn't fit, so he's going to be Danger Nude. And he'll just stay in the PC forever. A Chikorita would have to die, and then if I pick any of the grass starters from any of the other gens, they would have to die first, but... Uh, normally I don't use grass types on my team because, like, if, if you if you think about, like, the, the type coverage that you get with grass types, electric types kind of cover the same thing. I guess gra grass types can hit rock and ground, but electric types can hit flying and water, which is kind of better in my opinion. You know, there's a lot of ground and uh, rock have tons of weaknesses, so I think that grass types are pretty much unnecessary. But hey, I really like Meganium, so... I'm gonna try and keep it alive. And she gives she's just giving me gifts now. That's that's three things that, that makes her into my character. And we have arrived at Violet City. Okay, so let's talk to everyone so we know what's going on. Shard to berry, I trade berry for a shard. If you bring me shards, I'll give you three berries. Give me some good fucking berries, man. That's a lot of shards. What do you got for me? I collect Pokemon, do you have Rhyhorn? You want to trade it for Gligger? You know what? If I had a Rhyhorn, I would absolutely trade it for Gligger. Come on, you get trade grows quickly, but if you want to... Yeah, okay, that's just them disobeying you. If they get to a high level. And fun fact! 
You can you can grind your Pokemon to any level you want uh, before they start disobeying you. So there's one more thing I want to do before I end the episode, and I'm gonna get the starter Pokemon for this round. So uh, the way gift Pokemon work is if someone gives you a Pokemon, that does not count as your encounter for the route. Okay. I'm just gonna deposit uh, two of these Pokemon real quick because I realize I can fish as well. So I'm, I'm just gonna deposit them. Uh, that's the order I caught them in. I'm just gonna deposit them real quick, and after this episode, I'm going to work on a team and get it all grinded up, and the layout will be updated and it'll be great. So yeah, I'll take a quiz. Question one, were any Hoenn Pokemon obtainable within Fire Red and Leaf Green? Does that mean before or after the National Act? Both, yeah. Okay. Question two, is Dragonair more than 13 feet long? Fucking no? Okay, so it's yes, yes. Yes, yes. Is it true that Bulbasaur, he was not, it was Rhyhorn. I know that. Final question, can Trobius be found within Diamond and Pearl? So it's yes, yes, no, no. Alright. You completed the quiz. You can now pick a prized Pokemon. I am picking Charmander because he is my favorite starter. Overall, as you would expect from someone around my age. And I have a name for you. I don't know what it means, but my girlfriend told me to name my Charmander this once, and that's what it has stayed. So I want a modest nature Char Charizard. Relaxed. This thing is absolute fucking shit, because its speed is one of its best things. But it's a Charmander. I'm probably gonna add that to the squad. Alright, one more thing, and then I can wrap up today's episode. I know that I have done a lot, but we gotta get it done. We get a Violet City encounter. Pretty sure you can find Poliwags here. I already have Magikarp, so if I find that, stoops. I can re-encounter, because I already have one. So yeah, I, that encounter doesn't count. Okay, I can't escape from this thing. But I can body it. Go ahead and try again. Try again. Not even a fucking nibble. Okay. Well, great. Landed a Pokemon. Oh my god. You know what? Uh, we are gonna do this first thing next episode. I will. Between episodes, I'm going to grind my team up. Let's see. We gotta take Sprout Tower. I'll probably grind my team up to 12 to 13. And then we can take on Sprout Tower in the next episode. And hopefully not lose anyone, because I'm pretty sure the Grand Master's Ace is like level 13 or 14 or something in this game. So, uh, yeah. I will see you all next time.